It's the winter holiday season, and you know what that means. It's time for our yearly release of the Nike Air Jordan 11 silhouette. This year, we find the colorway in a white and cherry red color, though it's officially called a university red. And yes, the Jordan 11 is one of my top three favorite Jordan silhouettes, along with the Jordan 3 and the Jordan 4. I think the Jordan 11 is one or two. Jordan 3, one or two. Jordan 4 is number three. And that's right, the Jordan 1 is on the outside looking in. It's my fourth favorite silhouette in the Jordan family. And while I am excited about this white and cherry university red colorway, I have to wonder, in a sea of other releases this year, not just Nike, not just the Lost and Found, not just the Ama Manier, but the Joe Fresh Goods or some of the other Adidas's releases that have been coming out, is, is this cherry red colorway a little underwhelming in a sea of really good collaborations or really good general release colorways that have come out previous in the last 10 or 11 years? Curious on if maybe we're just a little, I don't know, oversaturated, maybe we're just a little numb to it. And the cherry red colorway when it was released, pictures earlier this year, we were all excited, but now that it's here, is it a little underwhelming? Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your shoe And yes, I was looking on my Time Hop app, and it seems like either today or the last few days a year ago, I was talking about the Cool Gray 11s. And two years ago, I was talking about the Jubilee Jordan 11s in that black, white, and silver colorway. And yes, I love the Jordan 11. I've already talked about it. And when I saw the pictures of this cherry university red colorway, I was all about it. I probably should have ordered it as early as Seth Fowler Customs Fowler ordered it because by now I have the Lost and Found. I have the Ama Manier and I'm going, all right, this is a fine shoe. It's a good colorway. I put it on, it looks good, it feels good. But like I said in the intro, it's a little underwhelming. It's a little muted. I'm like, all right, that's a fine shoe. It's an okay shoe. It's like saying, this shoe has great personality. You know what I'm talking about. But that doesn't change the fact that it's a good looking shoe. It's a really clean colorway and it's on one of the most iconic Jordan silhouettes of all time. So let's get into talking a little bit about the Air Jordan 11 cherry university red colorway. As mentioned, every year around the holiday season, Jordan brand gifts us with an Air Jordan 11. In the past, we've seen the return of the Concord and the Bread, as well as the debut of new and innovative makeups like the Jubilee and the self-lacing AJ11 Adapt. For 2022, the Jumpman is going a bit against the grain, translating the colorway of the AJ11 Low Cherry to the silhouette's mid-top trim. The Air Jordan 11 Cherry, which is also known as the Air Jordan 11 Varsity Red, comes dressed in a white mesh base. As is standard with the Tinker Hatfield design creation, patent leathers outfit the mudguard, herein dressed in the titular Cherry Red. Elsewhere, you will find more hits of white on the midsole, laces, and mesh tongue. Contrast comes by way of the Varsity Red hits on the Jumpman branding on the ankle, lining, and insoles. An icy translucent outsole rounds out the main features of the sneaker. The Air Jordan 11 Varsity Red is scheduled to drop on December 10th, 2022 and retail for 225 US American dollars. Now I just realized that I've been saying University Red, Varsity Red, University Red. To me, they're interchangeable. I know to many out there it's blasphemous and incorrect. So I apologize for incorrectly saying University Red earlier. Varsity Red. And number two, this shoe already had an early release on sneakers. That's why you see a lot of these shoes already out there in the zeitgeist in Gen Pop. That's general population. The general release, the bigger release at your, I guess, sneakers on the Nike app at your local boutiques will happen in December. So if you got it early like me, good for all of us. And if you didn't, well, you can still have another chance to get it or you can get it on your favorite resale site. When it comes to sizing, my foot is a 9.25 but that shoe size doesn't exist. So I either go down to a size nine, hope it fits or remove the insole, or I go up to a size nine and a half, hope that fits, or I wear a thicker sock or insert a third party outsole like the Superfeet Blue. 
In this Jordan 11, I was only able to get a size nine, which in all Jordans I find to be a little bit too tight. I like a little bit more wiggle room in the toe box and don't like a lot of lockdown in the midfoot. So when it comes to this colorway in a size nine, I remove the insole. But I consider now the nine and a half my true to size in any Jordan silhouette. So just like any other Jordan, I would say go true to size, whatever size that is, especially in the 11, get that and you should be fine because well, it's basically the same shoe, just newer technologies, different colors, etc. And when it comes to comfort, the Jordan 11 is kind of comfortable, way more comfortable than a one or a three or a four. It should be. It's uh, 11 versions later or 10 versions later than a one. It is not the most comfortable shoe. It's not using the most newest and comfortablest technologies like React or Zoom or Boost, but it is still quite comfortable in comparison to the earlier silhouettes that Jordan released. In the spirit of transparency for those that are new to this channel, I don't wear the shoes to shoot the swish or shoot the J or call computer blue. I wear shoes for lifestyle purposes. So when I say it fits this way or it's comfortable that way or blah, 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 remember I'm just coming at it from a lifestyle perspective where I wear it to look good, to feel good. I wear it with a tux, I wear it with a suit, etc. If you're looking for sports advice, probably go check out Chris the Nightwing at Wear Testers because I'm sure there is a way more of a sport actually uh, reviewed review out there. So when it comes to me, it's just lifestyle purposes, so take all of that into account when you uh, listen to what I say about this shoe, or any shoe rather. So I asked, is this shoe underwhelming? Are we oversaturated? Is it meh? Is it just this shoe has a good personality? But look at the shoe. It's really nice. It's really clean. The red leather, that cherry red leather, like a cherry red Corvette. Oh, and white, right? And it's got all the right things in all the right places. It's a beautiful looking shoe. It feels nice on foot. It's got that icy blue outsole. It's got the red and black carbon on the side. I just think that because we just had the lost and found, such a great story, such great marketing, such great uh, box and paper that it comes with. The whole thing is fantastic. The Ama Manier, oh, Joe Fresh Goods. Um, that, there's so many other great shoes that came out, even just general releases. I just talked about the NMD S1. You know, those things are pushing things in storytelling and collaboration or material or design or etc. And this is a tried and true iconic silhouette. I love it. So many of us love the Jordan 11. I'm gonna wear this shoe. I'm not not gonna wear it. In fact, I'm getting two pairs because I have a size nine. I ordered a nine and a half so that I can beat this one up because it's not really my true to size. So oh, it's not gonna go well, but I have two pairs of these now, just like the lost and found. I have the lost and found in a nine and a nine and a half because I can only hit on a nine at first. I have a nine and a nine and a half in the Amma Manier too. Basically, I try to get the nine or nine and a half. The nine and a half is my go-to if I get the nine. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a good looking shoe. I don't want to say it's boring because it's not. Because what I have to remember is when I first saw the pictures, I was incredibly excited about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. I like the Jubilee. I like the cool gray. I like this. I like the Concord. I like so many of the Jordan 11 colorways. It's just, I really do think it might be my favorite Jordan silhouette. And this colorway, well, it's, it's red. It's white. It's really, really nice. I just can't find myself getting hyped up for it. I can't see myself going, man, I can't wait to put an outfit together. Can't wait to debut this shoe in front of tons of kids. All I can think is like, this is gonna look good with my suit when I wear it in the spring to conduct with some kids. Nice, nice job, good, good, good game. And there's nothing wrong with that. Every shoe shouldn't, in the words of, what is that person, inspire joy. The shoe inspires a different level of joy. There's like the Ama Manier joy, uh, joy, and the Lost and Found joy, and the NMDS1 joy, and then we have this Jordan 11 joy, it's like, yeah. The cool gray inspired way more joy than this colorway. Even to me, the Jubilee inspired more joy. It's a black, it's white, silver. Some people hate it and that's okay. Maybe you would say, no man, there's no way. The cherry red is way better than the Jubilee and cool. That's awesome. That's, that's the cool thing about sneakers. One of the many cool things. We can all have a different opinion on it and be like, cool man, you do you, I'll do me, whatever. It's still a good shoe. It's still a really good shoe. I'm just curious what you may think. Um, do you find the shoe, uh, understated, underwhelming, kind of blah, oversaturated. I don't want to say boring, underwhelming. Underwhelming seems to be the right word. Uh, I, only because it's it's nice. It's nice. And I keep coming back to that cliche, like this shoe has a nice personality. Oh, uh, got a great, got a got a great sense of humor, right? But it's still <sighs> It's a good shoe. <laughs> I, don't, I, I feel like I have to apologize to myself for feeling bad about 
not being super excited, as excited about the shoe. It looks good. It, the shoe is everything that it's supposed to be. It didn't promise, it didn't overpromise. It didn't under deliver, it delivered exactly what it is. It said, we're gonna give you a cherry red Jordan 11 high, mid, whatever, uh, and that's what this is. And they did it, and it looks good, it feels good, it smells good, it's a good shoe. But I'm still like, okay, cool, thanks. I appreciate What do you think? And there we have it, my thoughts about the Nike Air Jordan 11 Cherry Red Varsity Red and White colorway. Do you like this colorway? Are you excited? Is there different levels of excitement? Or are you just like, yeah, that's a fine shoe. Like, here's the thing. Let me put it in this way. And it's, it's not a sad state that in sneaker culture we have to put it this way, but this is a really good barometer on if a shoe inspires joy. Would I pay resale for the lost and found? Yes. Would I pay resale for the Ama Manier? Yes. Would I pay resale for this cherry red varsity red Jordan 11? No. And I guess maybe, and it shouldn't be fair, that shouldn't be the barometer, but at, it, at its basic level, it's a simple way to put like, would you do that? Would you not do it? Like, would you steal that or would you not? Well, I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not condoning stealing, but what I'm saying is, would you pay extra for this shoe? And even if you may not have to, I mean, God, how many lost and founds do they make? There's like, they're releasing every day. Surely people are able to get it for retail or just above retail, but that's not the point. I wonder how many of the Cherry 11s they're gonna release, and I wonder if people would have to pay resale for it. And in a perfect world, we don't have to pay resale for anything. They make enough for everybody. But would you pay resale for the Cherry 11? Let's talk about the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill. Till the next episode.